Focusing on page seven now, as an alternative to the technique we looked at in the last video, we can create a show and hide caption. So this will save you having to go through the, the process of creating that multi-state object and then uh, playing around with all the different object states. So here we've got two elements on this page. We've got a button to trigger the caption, which is in this case, not just text, but it's an image as well. And um, then we're going to have two buttons. One will show the caption and one will hide the caption. So let's start off by clicking on the actual artwork itself that forms the, the picture and the caption. That is one group. And if I go up to buttons and forms, click on the drop down menu, I'll choose that to be a button. Now, we don't want it to be a button per se, but you have to turn it into an interactive element. So by turning it into a button, it then is detectable by InDesign as an interactive part of your layout. Swipe over the name and I'll call this caption. I want to turn on the checkbox for hidden until triggered because of course there's no point having a show or hide button if it's already visible. So that definitely is required in this situation. And then I'll click away from there. Now it's really important that if I zoom into the location at the bottom of the screen in here so we can see this. I'll click on this item which has already been turned into a button. It's got the rollover states in here. We've seen how that works. I've given this button a name of plus. So what we want to do is click on the action and then choose show, hide, buttons and forms. When we do, it's then giving us some visibility options. It's detected that currently there are two interactive elements on this page, the item called plus, which is what we've got selected and the thing called caption. So when we click on this button, what do we want it to do? Well, at the moment, it's not going to do anything. The X's means it will not change the state of those two items. So we first of all need to reveal a caption, but then we need to hide the current button to reveal the other button, which will be to hide the caption. <sighs> Following along, this will all make sense in a minute, hopefully. So first of all, we need to reveal a caption. So if I click on the visibility icon where the, where the X is, it now shows an eyeball. So when we click on this button, it will reveal the caption. We also need to make sure that it hides itself. So I'll click on that one once and then twice. The line through the eyeball means that it's going to hide that particular item, which of course is itself. Then what we need to do is hover your cursor over that button in the layout. And then um, you, well, you can go to edit and choose copy and edit and then paste. Or you can just hover your cursor over that uh, piece of artwork that's selected hold down the alt or the option key on the Mac and then keep that key held down and click and drag just to the side, let go of the mouse, let go of the alt key and you can create a duplicate. Now this one, I'm going to change the name to minus because that ultimately is what it will look like. And then I need to change the appearance of the actual button itself. So it doesn't appear as a plus. It appears as a minus. I'm going to hover over and double left click on that. Now this is made up of a rectangle and two lines. So if I just click on the vertical line in there and hit the backspace key, I can delete that and it now becomes a minus button. Click back on it to make it active. I will have to click on the rollover state and then double left click and click on that vertical line and delete that one as well in that state. Click back, reset the view of that button to its normal mode. And now we need to decide what we want it to do. So we've got plus, caption and minus. Now at the moment that is set to hide itself. So when we click on it, it will hide itself, which is perfect. That's what we want it to do. We also want it to hide the caption, but we want it to reveal the plus button. And then one final thing, hidden until triggered. That is also important as well, of course. If I drag and move this to share the same space as the plus button, that will cause problems. Even though it's hidden at first, technically it's still in the layout. And then InDesign gets confused and it doesn't see that there's another button behind it. Um, so what we need to do is just make sure that you click on the plus button just to the side, go to object, arrange, and then bring forward. And so it's in front of the minus button. And then you can drag that minus button just behind it. 
and then click away. So now we need to test it. I'll go up to the top to the previewer and then click on play to preview the current page. Here we see the plus left click on that. Now then there is an issue. So I need to just go back and look at that. But here you can see it shows the caption, which is good and it hides itself. So if I just close the previewer and then I'll click on the plus button to make it active and we can see the options for it in the buttons and forms panel. Now, when we defined the visibility options, we didn't have at that time a minus button. We created it afterwards. So we need to make sure that that's set to reveal when we click on the plus button and it reveals the minus button. Now we can test it. Go to the previewer, click on play, hover over, that works, left click, the caption pops up on screen. Then it also reveals the minus button, hover over the minus button, left click and it disappears. So there you go. If you only wish to have one piece of information on a page or you want to have a specific show and hide so that when the information has popped up, you can then choose as the viewer to hide it afterwards. It's a different way of approaching having additional information on screen. And that is with show and hide captions.